Well, hello friends, welcome to Maria Smithsonian, where in this video I am once again sharing with you my thrifty finds of the past week. And oh my word, I may have to make this two videos and show you the second part next week. We'll see how yappy I get. If I don't talk too much, maybe I can get it all done in one video. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay. First, the elephant in the room, maybe, if you can see these little uh, drawers up there. I'm going to tilt my phone up a little bit, and that is one of the first things I'm going to share with you. It's not one of the first things I purchased uh, this past week, but we did go, my husband and I, to the mountains here in Arizona, and we happened upon a yard sale and on this yard sale which by the way we almost uh turned around before getting there because it was like the the sign was on the side of the road and the road went on and on and on and we almost were ready to turn around when we finally saw the house that the yard sale was at so it was one of those but um let me move all this stuff out of the way but i wanted to show you these drawers let me un buckle this from my phone and yes there's also that cute little calendar i could not resist that was from a thrift store i'm totally not going in order or anything but that was only a dollar I, I couldn't resist i mean could you resist especially if you have a yorkie so yeah so that was a dollar but <clears throat> check this out now i do still have to clean them i started to wipe them down but um, i'm gonna need to remove everything from the drawers and actually like hose it down <clears throat> in my sink so um i wiped it down a little bit and i just want to show you you see these two boxes they are plastic it's a hard plastic here and these are plastic drawers but these drawers are full 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 of little wooden pieces now i probably will not end up keeping all of these wooden pieces i'll pick through and keep a few but look how cute the stars look at this little look at that little birdhouse that's adorable so i think this is one of those but yeah it's a whole bunch of little wooden pieces and i think some hardware maybe not much nope is that what oh drill bits how about that um yeah so i think one of these had like key rings in it yeah, there you go. That one had key rings in it. So somebody maybe made some keychains out of this stuff. But yeah, look at that. Uh, when I asked, casually asked <laughs> the people having the yard sale how much I wanted for those craft boxes, they said five bucks for both of them. So I said, okay, I'll take them. I am so happy about that purchase. I mean, if I had bought, not, bought nothing else, I would be really happy because I'm actually going to be using this right here on this table and it'll actually extend my table. But it, because look, check this out. See how far my table is away from the wall. It's like a whole hand. I mean, I'm telling you like four inches. So as long as I have, that's not even half of it, but about half of the um, drawer, you know, the little whatever container here, on the table and the other half and and then the back is against the wall it's actually very sturdy so it extends my little tiny table out a little bit <laughs> you know what i mean so that's my trick but look at that it, it takes both of them next to each other take up the whole table so i can store more things on top as well because this is just my little craft corner in our little apartment right now but i am going to clean these out I'm going to remove everything that's in all the drawers and have to reorganize. So that'll be a whole project in itself. Um, and then I'm going to just de-stash uh, most of the wood items because I'm not really, uh, I won't really be using them. So, yeah. So that's the first thing. An awesome, awesome buy. All right. Then this little uh Calendar, I already told you I bought that at one of the thrift stores. That was a dollar. At the same thrift store, I also picked up, we didn't find a lot in that thrift store, but just that. And this little book, which I love these little gift books, uh, Reflections by Hallmark. And let me put my phone back on the cradle here so that I have two hands again. And, okay. And I'll show you some of this stuff in a minute. <clears throat> okay. 
Oh, at that, I, I'm sorry, at the yard sale also, we bought these magazines. They're only a quarter each, so I picked them up. I was never a big fan of Cracked, but I just couldn't leave it behind. It was too funny. And, you know, it was from, it tells you here what date, like the 70s for sure. March 1977. Okay, so, you know, it's got this poster, and I forget if there was any inappropriate humor in here, probably, but anyway, for a quarter, I thought I'd pick it up and look through it and see, you know, if I can do something with it. If nothing else, there's probably some images I can use, you know, so anyway, yeah, that's Cracked Magazine. Did you ever read this stuff? I never did, but I remember it. <laughs> okay, so there is that. That was at the yard sale. Then we went to a little flea market, and I wasn't too impressed, honestly, with that day, you know, what the vendors and stuff. But somebody had a table full of jewelry, and it was a dollar a piece. And there wasn't really a lot of good stuff. A lot of it was just plastic and just not, you know, nothing I was interested in. But I did spot this little piece. And it is, uh, I believe, carved bone. But I mean, it's it's really cute and well made as it is. But I'm probably going to be removing all of the pieces to use in my crafting because it's not something I necessarily would wear as it is. So um, there's that. That was at the flea market. Our only find there. Okay, at one of the thrift stores. Check this out. Do you remember what I hauled just a couple of weeks ago, that punch, the Levenger punch for these, um, for the disc planners? I've been looking at discs, and I did pick up a couple of little planners from the dollar store, but you know how expensive discs are? I found this in a bin. They only had this one, but I only paid a dollar for these discs, so I'm definitely going to be making a little planner junk journal out of... Um, you know, using my Levenger punch and these discs. So definitely stay tuned for that. I can't wait. I'm so excited. So that was a dollar. That was a great deal. Okay. The next few um, books and items um, we picked up at a another thrift store that benefits, um, you know, uh, pregnant ladies. And it was a great organization. So we were happy to, you know, purchase there. But their books were only 50 cents a piece. Now, their cards, I paid, I think, a dollar or so, which normally I would not pay a dollar for a deck of cards, especially this one isn't vintage. It's from the 2000, da, 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 da. The, see, it's got a website and everything. I, I think I saw a date on it. It was 2000 something, but they are just so cute. The Coca-Cola cards for, you know, Christmas. So I'll be making some Christmas packs. Um, I have my bestseller on my Etsy shop is my set of cards, uh, you know, just random cards for crafting. Um, I have not put in any Christmas cards in that. I have been meaning to put a Christmas set together. So these will go in there. Yeah, they're new, you know, but look at that. How cute. I'm keeping the joker. Sorry. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, you get the uh, the different design or yeah. They all have the same design, but I have three different ones here. I have that one. I got to see the whole design. Sorry. I got to pull it out. How cute. There's that one and this one. Coca-Cola Santa. Yeah. Very cute. Uh, 1998. So this one is a little bit vintage. But the other, I know one of them was 2005 or something like that. So anyway, that was really cool. All right, and um, before I go on to the books that I picked up at this, this store, let me go ahead and show you a couple of things I picked up at Goodwill because I just want to do all the books together because if I have time, I'll show you all the books I picked up at Goodwill. So you already show, you already showed you this one, so that one's out up here, okay? All right, so um, at Goodwill uh, over the past week, I found these flashcards. It was only 99 cents, so it wasn't discounted. But for 99 cents, I went ahead and picked these up because they're really cool. They're really tall. Uh, let's see. I don't have my mat on the table, but I have it handy. Let me see if I can measure these out. They are about eight and a half by three. So... That is a really cool size. I mean, it could be a really neat journaling card, you know, like to fill up a, a, a journal. 
or you could fold them up and make like a library pocket out of them or it could be a belly band you know what i mean these are awesome so uh for 99 cents definitely picked those up and does it say how many there are in there it a hundred it said contains a hundred problem and the answer combination so if all the cards are there i have 99 because i already gave one away <laughs> and um then I picked up this bag and it wasn't 99 cents. Oh yeah, it was 99 cents. That's why I picked it up. So for 99 cents, I believe, I got this bag of fibers. Check them out. Um, there, each of them is different. It just says crafting fibers. And look at this pretty paper on the side. I'm gonna have to peel that off and, and do something with it. Um, but what I was thinking, I think I opened this one. Uh, I was thinking I'm going to be using these for my Tassel Tuesday. So next Tassel Tuesday, I'm going to be grabbing one of these packages, probably this one because I've already opened it, and make a tassel out of this. I mean, they coordinate already, so it should be pretty easy. We'll see how it comes out. Um, I may need to combine a couple of them because it might not be fluffy enough. We'll see. But yeah, for a dollar, I definitely picked those up because... Um, right away when I saw them, I was thinking, Tassel Tuesday, yay, I have something else to use on Tassel Tuesday, all right? Then this bag, um, I don't have the bag anymore, but um, there was a bag with patterns, and of course, I couldn't see every one of them, But and these are not the old, you know, very, very old, but what I was looking for was some patterns where... I could cut out the ladies individually. So this was probably inside, I couldn't see it. And I know there were at least a couple of them. Like for example, see here, I can get her, I can get all four of these ladies and her arm is missing on the side, but I could technically cut each one of them out if I wanted to, you know, have them like, like as a paper doll. Um, here I can probably get, she is whole there and she is whole. So I could get at least two of them. And then here, let's see, she is whole. Actually, she's the only one. So this might be a better one to just use the, the pattern as is in a journal. And then look at these. I can get those two or again, use the whole pattern in a journal. And here's another one. And this one, it's really cool. Probably the oldest. And does it have a date? Does it have a date? I think I saw a date on one of these at least. 1970 so yeah my mom might have worn something like that when she was pregnant with me because that's the year i was born <laughs> okay so um yeah so those patterns i don't remember exactly how much i paid for them but it could have been more than two or three dollars three max i'm thinking maybe 250 so i picked that up and then i picked up this i'm gonna open it with you it was I believe 75 cents. I believe this was half off this day. If not, if it was $1.50, I paid $1.50. It looks like a math game. And I don't know, you know, I was a teacher for a short time and uh, educational stuff. I'm just always drawn to it. But I was just very curious to see what this was. And I thought I could always flip it. You know, if I know somebody that needs it, I, you know, give it to them or sell it at my Etsy shop if it's older. It looked to me like it was a little bit older, but it doesn't have a date. Oh, how cool. It's just, I mean, you know what? What an idea, just the packaging of this. This is fa a fabric little folio that was made for these cards, and it's fraction overlays. How cool is that? So it's to teach fractions. So you have the little pieces there. Okay. Yeah, that is very cool. So, I mean, you know what? These might be fun to craft with as well. But if somebody can use them, let, just get in touch with me and let me know. And we'll work something out. Because I just thought that was too cool. I could not leave it at the thrift store. You know, had to come home with me. <laughs> All right, so there's that. Okay, I'm doing pretty good, I think. Let's see. Well, 14 minutes. Wow. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay. The next is the books. And these are the books that I picked up at that um, thrift store that benefit um, the pregnant um, ladies and it is written on but I can it's very hard for me to resist Mary Englebright if it's at a good price and these were all 50 cents each so yeah I could not pass it up look at that all the cute uh, drawings there most of them that one is the 
has it on both sides but most of them are on one side and then just words on the other so I don't know again what I'll do with this book I probably will just hoard it because I love looking at those pictures but um, they can also make great crafting then this I could not resist it was at Scamper the Gray Tree Squirrel. I've been thinking a lot about squirrels recently for various reasons, but look how cute she is. And let's see, this is not too old either. What's that? 91. Okay, 91. But it just has some really pretty pictures. And this book I will probably just hold on to because uh, of the squirrel look how cute now if I find another book like this then maybe I could take that one apart but this one is just gonna hold on to I just love it and uh, it'll be part of my collection it's in pretty good shape too so there's that one then uh, the ABCs of nature by Reader's Digest and as you can tell it's already pretty beat up the cover's pretty beat up here and here so I mean it would still maybe make a good cover for a glue book but if I covered it you know with fabric or something because yeah it's not in great shape but the inside is not bad and look at those images look at the animals Ooh, not the best and the ooh, flamingo and just really cool animal drawings in here cactus and flower drawing i i didn't have time to flip through very much but, you know, I saw enough just by kind of doing this that for 50 cents, I could not leave this book behind. Come on now. <laughs> yeah, really cool. All right. So ooh, look this. Oh, look at this. That would make a cool like envelope or something, you know, oh, right there. All right. So there's that one. And then Funk and Wagnall's Hammond World Atlas. Again, for the price, I picked it up. It's a small atlas, but you know how we love our maps in our crafting. So, and there's flags and things like that too. So that was really cool. And what was this one? 1001 Designs for Hand Decorating. I thought, first of all, look at the cover. Isn't that pretty? It's got kind of like little leaves. Do you see them? It's just red on red, but it's got these pretty designs. It's got a thin spine, but, you know, we can extend that. And apparently it was a library book. It says January 75 then down here. Manchester, Indiana. How about that? Anyone from Indiana? And it's basically just designs that you can trace. So I thought this would be cool. Maybe I can find some designs that I want to trace. And if not, ooh. Look, a pan and a little seahorse. And if not, I can just, uh, oh, these are really cool. Um, they, I could just include these pages in junk journals. Wouldn't they be fun? Just some design pages like that. So I thought that was super cool. Couldn't leave it behind. Better Homes and Gardens House Plants book. Again, look how pretty the image is on the cover. I uh, couldn't leave it behind. What else can I say? <laughs> um, I love using end pages like this because they're nice and thick. Not quite cardstock, but, you know, very thick and sturdy paper. So I probably will be taking that apart and using that. And, of course, using some of these images. Color and black and white. Look how pretty. Oh, yeah. So... Definitely for 50 cents. Would you have left it behind? I don't think so. And then this one was interesting. Uh, let's see. It's um, First of all, I love the cover. It looks like somebody set a glass or something on it. Look how cool that cover is. I mean, it does show age, but it's in pretty good shape. Have to put a corner on there probably. And it is a literature book, I believe. Let's see what it says literature of the United States and it is from 1947 but what I liked was oh I didn't even see this it's got some drawings I didn't even see any drawings okay it talks about the Civil War here but I loved oh look at that I loved the different type on these pages um, some see right here how some of it is like really wide like that and then there's, there's just a lot of different 
types of font in this little book. And then there's some poetry. Oh, look, even music. The little old sod shanty on the claim. <laughs> so, yeah, some more music and stuff. So, yeah, look at these. I saw these, these um, what do you call it, pages like this. And I just thought I had to have it. The rise of modern America in the 40s. Okay, so yeah, awesome book. And the cover will make a great journal as well. Let's see, I'm at 20 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to go ahead and show you the pile of books that I have next to me that I got. Oh, wait, before I do that, I just saw on top of the pile of books, I got this other thing. For $3.49, again, this was with the binders. It's a binder that zips closed, but check out what this is. They are dies. When I saw this, I did one of those things that, ooh, let me grab it and put it under my arm. Now, the thing is, when I got it home, there's all these letters and just some basic dies. It turns out that this was a kit and these dies are to be used with this quick cuts system, which was not in here. I did not see it and I didn't know to look for it because I just grabbed the binder and, you know, didn't really look into it until after I got home. But um, this piece, which is the actual, I guess, um, cutter or a die cut machine or tool is not included in here. However, uh, these dies look like they could be used in any die cutting machine. There's some basic flowers and, you know, nothing fancy, nothing special, just some basic shapes and some letters. But I thought, you know, at the time it was worth $3.49. And then it also comes, it looks like with some rub-ons because check this out. In this little pocket here, there's a popsicle stick. And then these, which some of them it looks like have been used. So I guess these are little images that would fit inside some of these shapes. See? So, um, you know, I might be able to use those rubbons. And then on in this pocket, I think this is just like ideas. Yeah, it's kind of like patterns or ideas for cards. And, and that is it. So I had never heard of this quick cuts um, apparatus, <laughs> but... Anyway, $3.49. It wasn't on sale or anything, but I thought it was cool. Um, it's got this foam stuff. It's like some sticky stuff. I guess is what goes on here. I, I, I don't know. Again, but there are some sort of dyes. If you have heard of this um, thing, let me know because I have never heard of it. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do with it. <laughs> um I'll, I guess I'll try to see if it works on my die cutting machine. It looks like it should be able to work. All right, so I'll put that aside. Oh my goodness, I have a huge stack of books next to me. All right, so the rest of these books were a dollar, so I could not resist. Um, well, this was maybe a dollar forty nine. Uh, my first Bible Catholic edition. Again, I can't resist uh, really cool books. For kids, or Bible books, and especially Catholic, because I'm a Catholic, and you know, so it's very specific to that. And uh, yeah, loved it, so I picked that up. And then uh, Better Homes and G Gardens lunches and brunches. Yeah, this was a dollar. Uh, I just loved the cover. Now I have never, never, maybe I have. Just I think I did. I was gonna say I've never done a cookbook junk journal. I did make some little journals out of some um, of the index tabs of the, you know, the cookbook binders, but I've never done like a themed cookbook journal. Uh, but it's one of the things that I'd like to do sometime. And, but look at these. I just couldn't resist these. Check it out. I think I have um, or had. No, I still have it because I don't think I would have gotten rid of it. A milk glass hen like this, a little one, but mine is white. This one is blue. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so it's got some neat pictures in here, of course, and I'm sure some great recipes. Love it. Are you looking at this, Sherry? Have you had one like this? She probably has. Sherry has all kinds, finds all kinds of cool cookbooks. Look at this. That's awesome. Okay, so there's that one. 
And let's see, another cookbook. And I only picked it up because it was a dollar. It's a binder. It's a newer one. But I thought, you know, it's a binder already. Um, it would be easy. I kind of like this thing that keeps it nice and it's nice and heavy and keeps it in shape here. Um, you know, again, more modern, but the binder itself can be used to make a journal. And I have done several journals using binders. So um, I thought I would be a good buy for a dollar and here are all the tabs so there's that then this one I couldn't resist it wasn't on sale but it was only 99 cents and it's Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and through the looking glass the Reader's Digest edition but you see the the picture right here I mean the book itself can be used as a cover for a maybe Alice journal or uh, what have you now a friend had asked me to be looking out for Alice books and I have never found one until now so if friend I think I know who it is but I don't want to say the name if I'm wrong if you are still interested <laughs> let me know because here it is um, I'll keep looking that's a classic you know <laughs> drawing from this from this book so yeah this is the Reader's Digest edition, just some lined drawings and then the book, you know, the front. So there you go. All right. And um, again, another book I just couldn't resist. I, I don't know. You know what? My husband wasn't with me to tell me, no, don't get so many books. <laughs> I was by myself. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's why I came home with all these books. There were just so many awesome books for a dollar. It must have been, yeah, yellow was a dollar last Thursday, so. <laughs> but look at these. A lot of cool pages for junk journals, especially, like, for, like, a homey ones, you know? Oh, check it out. It came with a little book inside, Great Gardening Gizmos. How cool is that? <laughs> so that is fun. Okay, next. Oh, the next two I picked up because of the pictures. So it's a collectibles guide, the Encyclopedia of Collectibles. Again, all these books were a dollar each. But because it's showing you collectibles, it's got tons of really cool pictures in here of the collectibles. And I thought some of those might make good. See? Like these are documents that are collectible and pottery and art and things. So I thought those would make really cool pages in journals, as well as just the writing and the pages. Ooh, look at this, Disney animation art. Yep, super cool. Look at Mickey, he's so cute, and Pluto. So, yeah, there you go. Yeah, so anyway, a lot of cool images in there, and this one also, check it out, you know how much I like my superheroes now this is not all superheroes or spider-man but they're going to talk about comp it was an encyclopedia of collectibles and this is the a's a and some b's and this was the c's so the comics are in here but yeah so there's pictures of coins <laughs> clothing clocks oh those are some cool clocks okay and where are the comic books circus memorabilia oh how fun Maybe I can do a circus journal sometime. Check them out. Fun, fun, fun. Where's the comic books? I must have, must have passed them already. Yep, comics right here. It was like at the end. Popeye. I might have to cut him out and put him in my journal because, you know, I did a Popeye page not too long ago. Look at these. Cool, cool, cool. So there's that one. Okay. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think I'll leave that one for last. Okay. Uh, coffee table book. Reader's Digest America the Beautiful. The dust jacket is pretty beat up. But the book is in pretty decent shape. Look how cute. It's got like a, like a tree kind of embossed on the cover. Which is like a linen or fabric cover. That is really cool. And yeah, this one has, first of all, look at the pages. The color is like already aged and pretty. And they're nice thick pages. 
Oh, and there's also white pages. So some these are maybe reference pages. I don't know. And then there's like semi-glossy pages. Look how pretty. Yep, just pictures from across America. Oh, beautiful. So, yeah, I might hoard this one for a little while <laughs> um, before daring to take it apart. But I couldn't pass it up for a book. All right, let me move these back on the other side of the floor because I uh, don't have much room here. Okay, another big book. It's like a coffee table book. This one's in really good condition. The dust jacket is a little bit torn, but it, this one's about the Grand Canyon. And it is so cool. Oh, look at this. It has a 75th anniversary something certificate. I mean, this doesn't really mean it much to me necessarily, but I love the paper, so I'm going to end up using the paper. And look at this beautiful picture, and look at that awesome little book plate, <laughs> little mouse. But, uh, yeah, the pages in here are really thick pages, really huge pages, and they're actually matte, the pictures. Look how beautiful. Yeah. So for a dollar, I definitely, ooh, and they're sewn in. I can rip these out. Oh, these would be great to, to work with if I can even bring myself to, you know, take it apart. So, yeah, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good stuff. And I love these end papers. Okay, so that's quarters of time. Okay, what else? couple more cookbooks 1987 annual recipes and again that's another number that sticks out at me because that's the year I graduated from high school and yeah I don't care you can know how old I am but you do the math okay <laughs> look at this that's awesome I love those drawings but ooh, these drawings are really cool each month I guess you have one of those drawings and then you have some cool pictures Look at July. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Definitely going to have to do a cookbook journal. Look how pretty. All right. So that's Southern Living 1987 Annual Recipes. Okay. Oh, this one I picked up because I love, like, minerals and stones and stuff. They make such great. Look at this. First of all, look at the cover. It's got this here. So this would make an awesome uh journal for a uh, journal cover for a big journal because this is huge this is what uh let's see this is eight and a half by ten and a half so yeah that'd be a huge maybe like for a glue book it'd be awesome but check it out it's just got pictures of rocks pretty rocks <laughs> aren't those beautiful oh my goodness yeah Love it. Look at that. Ah, that's awesome. God is like the best artist, you know. Look at that. All the designs in nature. Beautiful. Yeah, so for a dollar, I don't mind taking this one apart for the beautiful images. Because, I mean, really, how many times am I going to sit and flip through it? <laughs> so there is that. And let's see, we're getting the, we're getting close to the end. Let's do one more cookbook journal, and oh yeah, this one too. Okay, <sighs> last two will be like my favorite. Okay, it wasn't fifty cents; it was a dollar. That somebody must have tried to sell it for that at a yard sale. But another awesome cover. Do you see the embossing of the cactus there? Do you see it? I hope you can see that. It's embossed, but you know what? Maybe a good idea would be to, to add some ink to bring that out a little bit more. But this is a book about the Southwest, the great Southwest, which is where I'm living now. This Florida girl is like, no, Southwest. Look how pretty. Grand Canyon. So, yeah, tons of beautiful pictures. The mountains, which, yes, are beautiful. Look at that. That's so cool. Oh, look at that. 
yeah lots of pretty pictures in this book and i love the cover okay and then land of living rock another grand canyon book somebody must have you know just had loved the grand canyon again look at the, these end papers and let's see lots of black and white pictures are there any color pictures yep just a few let me move this over so you can see it better just very few oh look how pretty oh, oh, oh what's this neat very neat look at that oh yeah beautiful definitely I mean could you have left this behind for a dollar no way. I'm so glad my husband wasn't with me. He would have talked some sense into me. <laughs> okay. And the Book of Candles. Again, I just thought this was very pretty. Check it out. The cover itself is very pretty. I thought it would make a great kind of glue book. It's signed. <laughs> Interesting. And look at the end paper. See all the candles? And it just it's about candles and candle making. It's got some cool images in there. Look at all those candelabra and candlesticks. Ooh, that's actually really cool. Shaped candles, different colors, beeswax. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'll check out these pictures. Cool. Very neat. Yeah, again, Dala. Okay, and then the last two are my favorite. You know how much I love butterflies? Check this out. I have seen, I had a book like this from the, um, what is this collection? The Art of Sewing. I don't know. This, but, but not with the butterflies. I love the butterflies. Um, let's see. I actually, yeah, it was 99 cents. It was not on sale, but I was so happy to pay a dollar for this. Look how pretty now i love the cover <laughs> the inside is oh look that's pretty cool it's just you know a, a sewing book for you know it's got patterns it's got cool drawings that's a cool drawing pretty skirt jeans so ooh, nice i love these drawings and i've actually taken a book like this apart and have used it in my journals oh look at this cool so it's got a lot of really interesting it's definitely 70s right yeah definitely 70s let me see uh, 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 uh. Ta -da -da. where is the 74 yep right smack in the middle so check it out <laughs> yeah so anyway i love this book I'm definitely making myself a journal or oh, this could be my butterfly book. I've been kind of putting together stuff to make a butterfly journal. And this one's big, but might work out, might work out well that way. Yeah, so I love this book. And then the last one, did I mention I like butterflies? Check this out. It was, they originally wanted $3.29, but I paid a buck for this huge book of butterflies. So the cover's not that interesting. It's just black. Look at the dust jacket. It's got that on both sides. And it's just got tons of gorgeous pieces of black paper. No, <laughs> I mean, these, these are cool pages, but look at these. Look at that. So this is probably a book I'm just going to have to hold on like, hold on to like this. Look how beautiful, but wouldn't these make cool cards? Like journaling cards? Is it on the back of this? No. No. Yeah, it is. Oh, well. But let's see. What is this on the back of? Yeah, pretty, pretty. But I mean, they would make awesome journaling cards. And this is cool paper, too. It feels really silky, actually. But, yeah, all different kinds of butterflies. Look at that. So, yeah, this is one book I probably will just be flipping through a lot. Look at these drawings. And then, oh, look at that. Yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous book. Look at that. Love it. 
yep so I think this is my favorite one although I really love just about everything in this haul today but it's already coming up on 40 minutes of my blabbing oh, look at this how pretty but I hope that you have enjoyed what is this butterfly behavior doesn't tell me what this is. That's interesting. Is that the close-up of a butterfly wing? Probably, yeah. So, um, and then, of course, the caterpillars. Yeek! <laughs> They're pretty, too. Aw. Yeah, so let me know if you have a favorite item. Oh, my goodness. I got to say these two last books were my favorite just because of the butterfly thing. But, I mean... The drawers, oh my goodness, I love that. It's going to help me get organized here, you know, while I'm crafting. I love that. Um, all the books are awesome. I, I just need I just need to start doing stuff with them. Although some of them I'm just hoarding. They're just pretty. I'm going to just probably waste a lot of hours flipping through them just because they are pretty. <laughs> but let me know what was your favorite. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and you're not subscribed for some reason, go ahead and please click, click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up, give me a little comment, you know, all that YouTuber stuff. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Thrifty Thursday, which I did not say at the beginning because I got so excited about just jumping into this. I'll kind of like put some stuff down for you to look at while I'm talking still. Um, this uh, Thrifty Thursday, if you do the hashtag Thrifty Thursday, um, you will uh, find my videos on Thursdays. And also my friend Sherry of Turquoise Streaming has been doing videos on Thursdays. And every once in a while, some other friends will also join in. So make sure you go ahead and use the hashtag Thrifty Thursday and see what other thrifty videos you can find. And I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.